which is pretty intuitive. But we found that there's four foundational capacities that you've got to work with in a practice, ongoing practice from the rest of your life. And this is whether you're an addict or not. Okay. And that's a big statement, but let's look at it. First of all, it's the body. Okay. You have to have a strong body. It's exercise, you know, rigorous exercise, sweating and your body's pumping, bam, things change. Your brain chemistry and your body responds to that. So we, we want to become uh, lifetime athletes. And in the beginning, if you haven't done that, it's like, oh, I can't do that. But with support and encouragement, uh, we can get there soon. The second thing, we have to work the mind. Okay. We have to, you know, intellectually, we have to learn about wisdom and, and you know, read the great bi- books, listen to the teachers and, and give us a, an intellectual framework that will hold all this and that keeps evolving to meet you know, this really rapidly changing world that we live in. So that's the second part, the mind. The third part is the emotional practice. And that deals with uh, your emotions moment to moment. It deals with your PTSD, your trauma uh, from the past, which is often in probably more cases than none uh, directly led to people using in the first place trying to treat their trauma and the pain that they're going through, self-medicating. And it also deal, deals with your shadow issues, because if you don't deal with that stuff, it, it will, it's also another issue that will, uh, will cause uh, continued suffering and also relapse and death, et cetera. So, uh, and part of the way that we deal that is, is using this technology, using the meditative tools. You find that you can really go down. And, and unlike uh, traditional meditation, which sometimes can be, a dissociative process, you know, you can see this thing, but you're not really connecting this technology, interesting enough, really grounds it in the body. And when I was going through my own healing process, I found it was so somatic, this stuff had to, I had to bracket the thoughts about the trauma, because sometimes it would keep me stuck or say, no, don't look at this, it's too much, you'll get lost in it or whatever, you deserved it or blah, blah, blah. Okay, thank you for sharing. And it would come out through the body in very powerful somatic ways, both in the physical body and the subtle energetic body. And uh, that's essential because that frees you up. There's a lot of energy that is uh, tied up, essential life energy is tied up in holding these things uh, in the unconscious or in the, the, the dungeon. And they don't stay in the dungeon, they come out you know, and grow in the front yard in all kinds of creepy ways. You know, they can somatically get you sick uh, with cancer and heart disease and blah, blah, stress-related stuff. Go to KillabyCenter.com, Radical Recovery Summit, to see the full schedule of speakers and to register to watch these free online September 23rd and 24th in the Radical Recovery Summit 2017.